Yes, all new at 11, a great sign tonight for people fighting drugs, crime, and trouble in part of Norwood. More officers on the street and lights in those dark corners. People there have been waiting for all of this for a very long time. Evan Millward has this story you'll see only on 9 on your side. Evan? Well, Craig, those new lights that just got turned on today are just the start. The city of Norwood says it is putting more cops out on the streets and it's going to go after landlords who let their tenants run wild or don't keep up their houses. At the intersection of Carter and Cleveland. It, it just gets to a point where you just say, enough is enough. New street lights just clicked on. And I am just glad as hell for that. <laughs> Bill Potts lives and runs his business here. Jeremy Bayshore six lives times. here too. Over six times they hit me, I finally retaliated. Well, they took my head and my head literally went down this, this taillight all the way down here and it shattered. Jumped in front of a crowd of people at five in the evening. Never underestimate how effective people can be at their wits end. Meeting months ago with the city. They have to feel safe. So that's the approach we're taking. The plan has three parts. These lights, beat cops out on patrol, and going after landlords at nuisance addresses. Trying to drive out people that are trying to take advantage of this community and prevent it from obtaining its full potential. Some changes are obvious. These lights, we see cops on foot patrol for hours Friday and ask those who met months ago, it's high time. You can only push them so far and then they're going to push back. And I think the push is on. And it ain't going to stop until it's over. So the city's already put up a handful of these brand new additional street lights in the blocks around Carter and Cleveland. In all, when this is over, they will have added 22 of those new LED street lights. We're live in Norwood tonight. I'm Evan Millward 9 on your side. All right.